Today is a really exciting day because today is the first official day of starting to pack for our move. So this is going to be the first in a series of videos on this channel all about packing for our move. We are hiring a professional moving service. I will be moving some of the more delicate things. We're not moving very far. We do have a big truck and I can move some things. I'm not gonna move everything like our big furniture, but we need to pack. I have to pack basically everything. And today I'm gonna start with our Department 56 Village. We have a bunch of them and they are old and some of them are very dirty because we once we set them up in this house, we just left them up. We did not put them away after Christmas. We just leave them up because they make us happy. And the lights in most of them don't work. The ones over here above the kitchen cabinets, those actually do have working lights. I just changed those, um, I don't know, December? And it's now March, by the way. We are getting ready for this move. We're thinking it's gonna be anywhere between 75 and 100 days. We're really not sure hoping it's gonna be in that window. Anyway, I need to start packing just because I've got so much other stuff that I do all the time that I'm trying to fit in packing for this move into everything else instead of letting it take over my entire life. So I've scheduled in some time and today I'm gonna to pack up our department 56. We have all the boxes. They come in like a styrofoam box with like a paper, cardboard kind of wrapper that tells you what the uh, figure is inside. Anyway, I need to get all these cleaned up. Sometimes they do break, they do get a little bit of damage. Um, so I wanna make sure that none of them need glue. And then I'm going to pack them up in the boxes. And we are not parking any of our cars in the garage right now, so we're gonna use our garage as our storage unit for the stuff that is packed up for the move. So. Once these are packed up, they're going into the garage to wait for the move. And so we're going to start getting this house packed up and ready to go. So we are ready to move when the house, the new house is ready. So we are, I'm really excited. I know Emma and mom are really excited too. Mom's going to live a whole lot closer to work. It's going to be much more convenient for Emma and I to find jobs. Emma is um, going to have a lot more options for substitute teaching. So I'm really excited. So I'm going to show you our collection a little bit and then I'm going to get to work. Our Department 56 collection is something my mom collects. This is something we've been working on for many, many years. We actually don't buy them anymore. We stopped buying them. When we moved to Florida, we actually got rid of some. So this is our collection. I will show you. There's, It's not just this, okay? So we've got a bunch up here on top of the kitchen cabinets and we also have some over here i love that greenhouse it's one of my favorites and i'll show you some close-ups of some of my favorites but over here on top of our tv or our entertainment center we have some others and i you know i i'm the one who put all these up here and i tried to kind of put them in like a theme so this is our farmhouse section over here with our John Deere dealership and like different tool shops and stuff. So then the last section of our collection is actually above our front door. And so we've got more over here and this is what I'm calling like our downtown area with shops and we do have a football stadium. Let me get a different angle. Here we go. So we've got our courthouse and our football stadium and our toy shop and our gas station and a couple of houses but I think they are just wonderful so I've got down the first half of the thing above the stairs I just took down the bottom shelf basically these are not really all that bad they don't have none of them have any damage this little guy how cute is he Whatever, it's fine. We have a police department over here. And this I think is just like a farmhouse. And I love the little wreaths on the windows. This is a Christmas shop. We've got a gas station and a Legion Hall, which is really cool. I think this one is our courthouse. Oh no, that's our library. 
And then this is our little hot chocolate shop. Isn't that cute? I just think it's wonderful. So I'm gonna just dust these off since they're really not gross. They just need a light dusting. There's no damage to any of these. I have checked them all. So all I need to do is dust these off and find their boxes in the mess of boxes upstairs and put them in the boxes and then put them out in the garage too. minutes later and I have done a lot of things. I made 15 trips up and down the stairs moving these boxes, all of these boxes downstairs so that's why my face is red like a tomato. These are ready to be packaged up and I'm going to put them in these boxes. That's kind of what took me so long was I was trying to figure out which boxes I needed Kind of got frustrated sorting through them all, so I decided to bring them all down here. I'm going to package the ones that I have cleaned in their boxes. And then I'm going to do something a little bit different. So let me package these up, put them in the garage, and then I'll pick you guys up in a second. These are boxed up and ready to go out into the garage. I still have some village pieces up here that I haven't taken down, but I've decided I want to worry about the boxes now. So these are all the boxes that I'm going to need to put those away, but I do still have this whole clump of boxes. So I think what I'm going to do is go through and kind of try to line up the boxes with the actual piece on the cabinet. I, I'll probably put them like on the countertop or something just so when I'm ready to box them up I'm not sorting through this mess. So I'm going to sort these now so that that is not nearly as chaotic so that when I'm ready to box them up after they're clean and glued or repaired if they need to be. Honestly, surprised, none of these needed any repairs. Really happy with that, but I'm gonna go ahead and sort the boxes now and drink some water because I'm thirsty, because 15 flights of stairs basically running was, um, it took a lot out of me, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna have some water and get back to work. That didn't take long at all, and it looks like absolute chaos, but it makes so much sense to me and it literally took me 15 minutes. I'm just happy that I won't have to start searching for the boxes when I'm ready to package them up. This is gonna make it so much easier. This next section is the section, the, the top shelf of the section above the front door. So we've got a cute little gas station and these are much dirtier than the ones on the second shelf. This house back here, look at the detail. They have painted on like vines growing up the chimney. I just think that's lovely. We do have a church. And then like our football stadium. I love this football stadium. This is one of my favorite ones that we have because 
of all the little team flags. Lots and lots of little pieces, but I think it's wonderful. And these are the players and the uprights and the grass. And we've got a couple of officials with a flag in his pocket. Then we've got a really cute Victorian style house. And I love this house too, because I like the porch. I think it's cute. But anyway, these definitely need some more attention than the last ones did. So I'm gonna get to work. off this section up here put the big ladder away this is all cleaned off I dusted it I've cleaned it off I got the because we had a cabinet liner up there that would keep our village from like vibrating every time the door slammed shut because my fear was like in high winds during hurricanes or when the door would slam my fear was that they would slide off so we had like cabinet liners the cushy ones in there to kind of protect them and it worked but since that's done, and they're all packaged up here, I have taken down some more from this section. And I'm about to clean them off, but I wanted to give you a close-up. I don't know why I'm showing you when they're dirty, but I just am. This is our Coca-Cola drugstore pharmacy, and then we also have a Main Street pharmacy. Because in real life, you always have a Walgreens and a CVS right next to each other, so it made sense to me. It was like a real life joke for me when I set this up. This is actually a doctor's house, doctor's office in the same building. The next is just a house, then a greenhouse, which I had very near our flower shop because we have a hospital and I kind of felt like when you go to visit someone at the hospital, don't you take flowers? Where do the flowers come? The greenhouse. Also we have another drugstore, this is apothecary, and we do have an eye doctor so this was like our medical center <laughs> why is that about this way i don't know it just it fit and it made sense to me it made me laugh also i do have a candle burning over here this is one of these magic candle company candles i think this one is the pirates of the caribbean candle anyway it smells good so i'm having a good time getting this done and i'm getting there because these are packaged up and then these are the boxes for the ones that I'm about to clean off. And so I'm, I'm happy with the progress that I've made. It's slow, but I knew it was gonna be.
I have to admit, I'm a little bit sad because it looks so empty. <laughs> I got them all done. These up here, Emma, turn around and smile. Hello. These up here were definitely the grossest, so I took them down last and I washed them with some Dawn and hot water. Soap. Huh? Soup? Soap. Soup? Soap. Soap. Yeah, I used soap. But they're all stacked over here. And no, it's not as tall as I am, but mom just got home. This has taken me about five hours and I haven't been working like a crazy person, but I have been working pretty well nonstop since 11 this morning and it is now 6.15. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to take these out to the garage where they will wait until it is time for the move. So that is gonna be the end of this very first packing and moving vlog. I'm amazed, series. that is awesome. She came home and she caught me carrying out because we have boards that we put above this so that we could actually see these when they were up there. Um, and so she caught me carrying those out into the garage and she had this strange face. She's like, what is that? Where, where did you get those? And she, she didn't understand why I was carrying cut pieces of wood, it's like a two by eight. And I had several pieces of it. She's like, what is that? So then she, she came inside like and she saw all of these boxes. Looks great. And all of the emptiness and she's happy. So wonderful. we're gonna move these out to the garage and that's gonna be the end of this video. This moving series is going to continue. You guys are gonna see me packing up all kinds of different things. And then when we get into the new house, you're gonna see me packing or unpacking Unpacking. all of the things that I have packed. So I'm really excited about this process, Mom. Cool, me too. Yeah, so you guys will see me in the next video.